so this is my workstation guys see uh, this is where I do my work I do all my online posting uh, design editing uh, all and this laptop and have a monitor my own very own monitor so you see this is my kitchen hi this is the end the <laughs> no more bota guy la. morning bota guy night time and ton tan uh, this is my personal self this is my personal uh, so just to show you around this is my kitchen mm. if, as you can see i personally sleep sleep on the my kitchen floor why is that well don't get me wrong because um ever since i was in high school when i was in high school that time i already sleeping on the kitchen floor until now uh two years uh, my high school years from four from five after from five i went to college for three years five years uh give or uh, give or take five years i've been sleeping like this on the floor on the kitchen floor and i've been used to it why you ask okay because I'm the eldest in the family, so uh, I have one brother and one sister. So after when they all become grow up, so that is where I left the room. I give them the room to use for their own, and I personally choose to sleep on the kitchen floor. Why? Because I, and on my kitchen floor, you can see that I have a we have a dining table here. Uh, of course, last time we don't have this sort of junk here. It's all empty space. We have one dining table and a few chairs, and I remember I used to sit in the middle center of this dining table, and with my first computer, our uh, first laptop I have, Acer, uh, Acer laptop. I place on the middle, and the rest of the thing is all my homeworks, my assignments, and some of my materials uh, like uh, uh, acrylic paints, my oil paints, and also my brushes. All left on the dining table. This become the dining table has become my working station, uh, uh, so to speak. And because I I study graphing and multimedia design, that's why I do all my work on the kitchen because I don't have a proper place for me to sit down and work. And this is the only place that I able to, uh, work. Wash. At the side, can you have a bathroom? Huh? This is our bathroom. Take a look. Mm, this is our shower room. Uh. So we take our shower on the water tub. That's our water tub for taking the water. And we also have a little shower ring there. Mm, and all our body wash uh, equipment store there. So wash here. Go to the bathroom here. Wash here as well. Hey, it's a tiny mirror. <laughs> That's a tiny mirror. Mm, we have a basin here uh, for a wash. See, uh, there's my toothbrush. Uh, see, sleep here, work here, wash there, wash here. I also can cook here. And this is the kitchen stove. We have the kettle. We have the our dry ingredients uh, storage here. All the dry ingredients are there. Mm. I remember when I was kid, was a kid. I used to love this little mouse set there. I love the dot 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 effect. That's how I I, I able to get inspiration to become a, a graphic designer to create more graphics. Mm. And I see this old kitchen sticker is still around. Ah, last time they used to have a lot of kitchen stickers. I don't know why only the kettle uh, <laughs> has been left over. I remember when I was a kid, I used to see some fruits, some uh, bread, some uh, fish. Yeah, I used to see them, but now no more. I think it's tear away already. Like how many years already? Oh, for God's sakes, for 30, 30 plus years? Yeah, 30 plus years this house has been living. So quite a memory here. This is our kitchen cabinets. Uh, for this episode, I won't be showing the, what's inside the kitchen cabinets. That one will be in the next episode. Today, I only show you around the kitchen. See, even have our refrigerator. The refrigerator was sitting there for the 30 years already, folks. And it's still the same brand, the same brand, still Sanyo, Sanyo, yeah, Sanyo. Mm. That's why it's an old refrigerator. That's why it's hard to close. There you go. So I've been living like this ever since uh, high school until now.
But after I left uh, my home, after I graduate, I went to KL. After that, I went back to Penang again, but in the mainland, not the island. And went to Singapore. Wow, time flies very fast, guys. Just like that, it's been 20 years. Seriously, it's been 20 years already. I've been living outside of this place until now. 20 years. Okay, let's show you a little bit more here. So you, you can see I put the carpet on the floor because uh, each night I sleep, the Mosset is very cold. It's really, really cold. Uh, don't, also, don't forget, we don't have a fan anymore. We don't have a fan. We only have, only have a simple steaming lamp. And all the air coming from this side. Oh yeah, I didn't show you. Just right beside my working station. And this area is where I put my baggages. And you can see my three, of my, uh, three, my three baggages out here. I hang my coat here. There's my coat and also my clothes. Uh, all my clothes are hanging here. I don't have a proper closet here. But I like to keep it keep it that way. Uh, it's always keep it... Uh, I don't know how you, how you have to describe it, but I feel that it's uh, more like a personal space. Uh, excuse me. Well, this is my... Uh, the back balcony. As you can see what's outside the scenery, we are, we are living on the apartment. Uh, this apartment is a very old school apartment, so you can see uh, this is a four level storage apartment but with no elevator or stairs. Uh, right now, I'm living at the third floor. That's considered first floor, not, not, not like Singapore. Singapore, I know, is uh, ground floor considered first floor, second, third, and fourth, and fifth. But in Malaysia, guys, in Malaysia, we, we consider the ground floor is a ground floor, it's a G level. Ground floor, first floor, second, third, and fourth. That's why it's only a four level unit. We are at the third level here. This is where I'm living here, the third level. <laughs> okay. As you can see, I was beside the apartment, you can see the, the a very, uh, not very pleasant, but very decent, very decent scenery of uh, Penang Island. Uh, if you tell me what type of what street does this belong, oh, I'm not gonna tell you in this episode. That one will be wait for another episode. Okay, this is only for the short clip for tonight. A uh, little sharing. So just to give you a little glimpse at how I lived through my life after all these years. I have been up and down, down and up. Now, right now, it's the pandemic. So each and every one of us need to stay home and stay safe uh, and stay healthy. So that's why I choose to come here to live here with my parents again. I and mean, before that, I was living in my other home, which my personal purchase one. Uh, my personal purchase home was in the mainland. This is the Penang Island. There's another Penang mainland. That is where I bought my uh, my own place, uh, married my wife, uh, my lovely my lovely wife and my daughter. Uh, they all in the mainland, uh, living with their parents. Thankfully, I have to pray for their safety and healthy each day because uh, the reason I leave I left home and come over to the island because my own pers my own personal family, my parents are living here, so. In the once a while, I need to come back and look after them. My wife look after my wife look after theirs. They are her parents. I look after my parents. So it's kind of fair. And there's a long story that those tonight we're not going to that story. We we'll only show you a glimpse of my personal space, how I turn my kitchen become my workstation, <laughs> and this is a simple little place that I turn my kitchen. Now uh, this is the full full view lah, of my kitchen. Now you can see now this is part of my kitchen. And it's also part of my workstation and also my bedroom here. Hmm, very simple one. Okay, so I'll stop my video here. So if you like what I'm sharing today, uh, what I'm sharing to you in this episode, if you'd like to see more, yeah, please just like the page, like our Facebook page, and also like our and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, same name as me, same name it goes with the Facebook page. Anton Tanantian, if you like what I'm sharing with you, my daily life and what I've been doing all the whole pandemic, yeah, you can follow me if you want. So I very appreciate it that you do for your support. So keeping this channel grow slowly and I will show you more about Penang and I will show you more about the life I've been uh, bringing all along with me, like you sitting behind my back and I show you all around the places that I've been. If you like what I share like that, okay, I will create the next video just for that only that for that purpose only. Okay, thanks again for watching.
and be the users if you're watching this in the youtube channel please like and subscribe and keep our channel uh stay active and i'll and if you if you like if you like what i'm showing to you to you now uh you feel it's boring it's, it's lousy just comment lousy and boring uh, it's very bad uh. if you do like it just give it a like uh just give your old man uh, just give the old your old boy and another another appreciation of encouragement to do another video to show you my life behind the scene okay that's all for tonight thank you for watching again have a good day and pleasant day stay safe